Hey everyone, it's Bella, and as you can see, this is a get ready with me video, so we're gonna put stuff on my face, and we're gonna have a good time with it, so let's get to it. To begin, I like to start out with my NYX Angel Vogue Primer today. Um, it is a great primer for making my makeup stick a little bit longer, and so it doesn't move around throughout the day. Um, it helps really blend out and blur over those big old pores, and then... I just rub a dub dub all over the face and really like to work in the product and as you can see I kind of move it down my neck a little bit. For foundation today I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. It's for combination oily skin in the color 110 aka Ivory. I just take a few pumps of that and I put it on my Tarte foundation brush, dab dab dab, and then I leave it that way. Yep, there it is. Just kidding y'all. I blend it out, of course. I also blend it down on my neck to make sure I don't have any harsh lines because those are always the worst. Nothing like feeling like you're looking good and then seeing a color line on your neck. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty bad. I try to avoid that at all costs. I also blend up sometimes to my ears, especially if I'm be wearing my hair up. And blend, 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 y'all. I had a hair in my eye. Don't worry, I think I got it. I got it. Next, I am using the Maybelline New York Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector in, of course, color Ivory. I apply that first to my dark circles under my eyes. I am a uni student that is going through final exams right now. And even if I wasn't a uni student, I'm the kind of person that just never feels totally rested, and I think it really shows in my face. So I like to cover that up. I also run it down the bridge of my nose. In between my brows, on my cupid's bow, my chin. I tend to have, if I have breakouts, they tend to also be on my chin a lot. And I also like to get my smile lines. Not really sure why I do my smile lines, but I do it. Um, taking the Tarte Double Beauty, Double Duty Beauty, I believe, uh, Quickie Blending Sponge. They now have a new Quickie Blending Sponge, but I just like to dip in it because I think it helps really move the product around in a blendable and easier Way, and I just blend, 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 y'all. Funny enough, this isn't really sped up a lot. I do blend at that rate. <laughs> and I do blend with that much intensity, yes. To set everything, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Powder in, of course, the color Ivory. It's technically golden ivory, but um, I don't really see that golden in it. <laughs> I just see ivory. Um, if I'm not ivory, y'all, I'm either fair, porcelain, or light. I'm dancing because, I don't know about you guys, but um, very rarely do I do my makeup without music playing. It really helps get me focused and in the zone, and it just makes everything a lot more fun. Now going on to the Tarte Pretty Paint Box Collector's Makeup Case. That is a mouthful. Um, as you can see, I almost put bronzer on my blush brush. The blush is Moment. Um, it is kind of like a pinky, somewhat coral color uh, with slight shimmer to it. And I just like to put that on the apples of my cheek and blend it back. And yes, I do make those faces on a regular <laughs> when applying my blush. And just makeup in general. I think it just really helps get all the spots I need to get to. Now taking Unique and Provocative, which are both of the bronzing shades in the box collection. One is a shimmer and one is a matte. I like to blend them together because one is cooler and one is warmer. And I always feel like I'm in between with a lot of things, so I just mix it. I put it on and then I blend it in and then taking my powder brush without any additional product on it, I blend some more because I'm a blending fiend. Um, I prefer the blended look on my face. I just think I just look better that way instead of any harsh lines. Uh, normally on a daily, I don't blend all around my face anymore like I used to. They were just too intense when I woke up a little late for class. I just didn't have the time to do it, and when there's a disruption in my routine like that, it tends to follow and carry on through the next day. But I thought I'd go all out for the video. So yeah. Again, I'm just blending all that out so it's not too harsh. 
and also so it's just not too overwhelmingly bronzy because as you can tell I'm very pale so color really stands out and I don't want to stand out in a bad way and I'm just putting my gauge back in because I was blending too harshly taking the highlight from that palette which is authentic it's sort of like a champagne-y um, slight shimmery highlight on a brush that I do not know whose brush that is um, it's my brush, but I don't know who made it. It was given to me uh, by a friend who didn't want it. So I just put that on the high points of my face. On a daily, I just do my cheeks, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Um, in the video, as you'll see in a second, I do above my brows and a little bit by my temple, which I don't do on a regular. Authentic is a really nice shade. Super blendable. Um, super easy to diffuse it out, which I, it's my favorite kind of highlight look. is a soft, subtle glow. Um... But I did want something a bit more intense today, so I took the Tarte's Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette, and I took Gator Wings, which is super pigmented, and the color is just great for my pale skin. As you can see, I hit pan on this, and I'm, I am really sad about it. I'm constantly thinking about buying a new one, but I just can't justify it yet. Um, this palette smells amazing, by the way. It is like heaven on earth. Taking an angled brush by Eco Tools, Eco Tools and going into the Tartlet Matte Palette, taking the color Dreamer, I am filling in my brows. Um, I think I tend to go slightly heavy with my brows. I create the shape, I fill them in, I just do the whole shebang really all with powder. But um, that's just the way I like doing my brows, and I love the way that my brows turn out. And I just will continue doing that way. Funny story, in the same palette, I took the shade Fashionista, which is just straight up black, the first time I did brows, and used that to fill up my brows, because my brows are, in fact, black, and I thought, that would look best. Um, long story short, of course it didn't. <laughs> but you live and you learn. Again, this is something I don't do on a normal everyday basis. As you can see, when I was applying concealer and blending that in, I tend to just rub my concealer up on my eyes, but I wanted to do something a little extra today. So I took the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula and uh, just put it on. I saw this on sale for like 50% off one day and I thought, you know what, I've wanted to try it, let's try it. And I don't have anything bad about it. Again, I don't really use it enough to know. Gotta stay hydrated though, everyone. Making videos is super hard. Uh, taking a fluffy blending brush, I am going into that Tarte palette again, and I'm taking Free Spirit and Super Mom. I like to just put that down as a base, so uh, it just gives me something to make blending later on a bit easier. Using the same brush and going into the Swamp Queen palette, I'm taking Natural Peaches, which of course, as its name, is just a nice peach color, and I'm just putting that all up in my crease and blending. Taking another Eco Tools eyeshadow brush, I'm dipping into Dog Man, which is um, sort of like, how do I explain this color? It's like a burgundy, burnt orange, and it's a really pretty color, despite um, my horrible description of it. I just apply that um, sort of in the outer corner up to like the middle part of my crease, and I just go back in with my fluffy brush and I blend it. In a second here, uh, my camera dies on me or something. I don't remember if it was that or my memory card was full. But off camera, while I was fixing all that, um, I just kept going back and forth between Dogman and Natural Peaches to work up the color and uh, create a nice transition in between the two without losing one of the colors. Uh, the same palette, I'm taking Sassy Bun, which is a beautiful shimmery gold, uh, bronzy gold. I'm taking that on my finger. Um, it's 
amazing formula, so it's super easy to blend with your finger, and I do think that you get a way better color payoff when you use your finger, and it's just something that I do, and it's quick and easy, and it, and it really just helps bring out the eyes a lot. My roommate just walked in, so we're chitting, chatting real quick. And dance break though. Really getting those moves in. Get my daily cardio. And don't worry, she had a cameo. On. So I'm going in with a bullet brush or a pencil brush, whatever people call them. And I'm going in with Sippy Sippy, which is a brown with sort of yellowy gold and green uh, reflecting glitters in it. And I'm just packing that in the outer corner to help pop out the eye and create a lot of dimension. These words I'm using make me sound like a beauty guru, but um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not far from it. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, and sometimes I it comes out right, and sometimes it comes out like crap. <laughs> Either way, though, the best part is I have fun with it every time, and if you're not having fun with your makeup, then I don't see any point in it. Uh, I don't know. I just love doing my makeup, but it is quite the joyous experience for me. Taking the same brush we just applied Sippy Sippy with and just kind of rubbing off some of the product, we're going back in with Dogman and applying that toothy lower lash line to help pop out the eyes a bit. And it's just a look that I really enjoy. And it kind of just creates more intensity without doing much extra work, which is my favorite kind of look, of course. The one where it doesn't take a lot of work to look like you put in a lot of work. Um, I apply that a little bit further than halfway. And then I'm going to go back in with Sippy Sippy on the same brush and apply that to the outer part of my lower lash line. Just so it can connect with the outer V and again, using that word. Pop in the eyes. I applied some mascara off camera. It's a mascara that came in the paint box collection. I'll put the name in the description below. But yeah. And then moving on to the lips, I chose to do a nude gloss just to really put focus on the eyes. I did Charity's Glossy Lip Paint in the color Hella. And this is the final look. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it, and of course I was fun when I get to play with my makeup. And I do like the way it came out. Um, I think the best part about this Get Ready With Me is that you just got ready with me to stay home. Um, and that's some of my favorite time to do my makeup is when I stay home all day. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. But in the meantime, continue your adventure, love thyself and everyone else, and then I will see you later. I'm gonna lick Allie's face.